In this video, we are going to use a completely free online tool to create this design from scratch. I will also show you how to find graphics for your design and how to adjust your design to fit any print-on-demand platform you are working on. We are going to use Creative Fabrica Studio, which is a free online tool that has many built-in print-on-demand templates for most of the, of the famous POD platforms available. This Creative Fabrica Studio has been recently published by Creative Fabrica, which is a complete one-stop shop for all your graphics, fonts, and design materials. Even if you're not a subscriber to Creative Fabrica, you can still use the Studio tool for free. Now, from the Creative Fabrica homepage, you can press on the Studio icon, which will take you to the Studio homepage. Additional features have been added recently to the studio, which are also very helpful in your design process. Now you can use features like removing background or converting any image to SVG for free from inside the studio page. If you press on the start designing button, you will be directed to your studio main page. On this page, you will find all your recent projects that you have worked on, in addition to the ready-made templates provided by Creative Fabrica Studio. If you press on the add a new design button, you will be asked to choose the dimensions of your preferred artboard or simply to enter your own board dimensions. There are many print on demand artboards that you can work on that are set to fit the exact requirements of each platform. For this tutorial, I'm going to make a design for Merch by Amazon and I'm going to change the DPI to 300. Once you press on the create new design button, you will be directed to the artboard. The first thing that I'm going to do is to switch to the dark mode from the upper menu. And then I'm going to change the title of my design. I'm going to call it Grumpy Cat. You can do that also from the upper menu. Now, on the left side, we can see that we have all the tools that we can use for designing. It's very similar to the Canva platform. So let's go to Elements and then go to Basic Shapes. I'm going to place a square to my artboard to use as a background. Since I'm designing for a black t-shirt, I'm going to change the square to a black color from this menu here. And as you can see, it's already placed on the layers panel on the right. And I'm going to lock it from here. Now, we need to add graphics to our design. There are a couple of ways to add graphics. First, we can, if you have um, full access to the Creative Fabrica platform, you can go and search for graphics there. I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to search for a cat and I'm going to download this image and upload it to the artboard from the upload button. And once it is uploaded, you can simply press on it and it will be placed directly to your artboard. You can also change or play with the image from the upper menu as you may like. So the second way to find graphics is to go to the graphics tab inside the studio panel and search for the graphic you want. So I'm going to search for a cat and I'm going to choose one of the graphics to be placed on my artboard. I like this one here. So let's place it on our artboard and st stretch it to fit our artboard like so. And again, it is placed on our layers panel. The third way to find graphics is to go to the Spark AI tool and create the graphics yourself. So we're going to create our background of the design. As you can see, I've tried it a couple of times before. So 
I'm going to, to write vintage sunset background to create a, a background, a vintage background for the design and press on the create image. This will create a couple of images. I like this one. I'm going to stretch it and I'm going to use the layers panel to move it to the back like so. Now we are done with the graphics and it's time to, to add some text. We can do that from the text tab. Um, I'll press on the heading or subheading and I'm going to change the color of it from here. So my text says express yourself even if you are this is the the first part you can change the font from here there are many fonts that come with the studio and you can change the font size like so now let's add a heading going to add grumpy and also stretch it like so and I'm going to change the font to uh, a rough font I like this one Rubik dirt font and I'm going to add some borders to set to create like uh, a stroke to the grumpy word let's add one more heading and again change the color to white this time the text says morning attitude so Again, I'm going to change the font from here and increase the border a little bit. Then I'm going to add a subheading that says Catitude. I'm going to change the color to white and change the text to Catitude. I think I'm going to use a script font for this one. So let's find a nice script font. This one looks great. And again, I'm going to change the color to yellow. Something that fits the design. We can choose the picker to pick the yellow color from the design and once you're finished, you can simply hide the background and go to the upper menu to the, to the download button. You can save your design and then press on the download and you have the option to remove the background and download the design in PNG. Now we can you can use the upload tab to upload uh, a mock-up image and then upload the downloaded design and place it on the mock-up to see how it looks like. So I have uploaded this mock-up. So I'm going to place it on the artboard and then I'm going to place the 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 design on the mock-up. To see how it looks like this is one of the mock-ups of the merch by Amazon website so this is how the design is going to to look like
That's it for today's video. You will find the link in the description to access the Creative Fabric Request Studio and to have a free trial to Creative Fabrica. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for future tutorials. Thanks for watching.